Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video definitely is going to be a little different than typically. And that is because your boy is in Destin, Florida, enjoying him some vacation right now. The basketball video I wanted to upload this week, the file was corrupted, so I had to come up with something else. So I thought, why not switch it up a little bit, do something simple, let's do a Q&A so you guys can get to know me a little better. So I asked y'all on Instagram to shoot me some questions and y'all didn't disappoint. We got like 20 plus questions on here. Before we hop into question one, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new and to like the video. Helps me out a ton. Appreciate y'all. Let's go ahead and get into question number one. My boy Jordan asked, what is your five-year goal? So in five years, let's see, that makes me 26, about 26. So at 26 years old, I'm really hoping to have a nice business established around my personal brand. Also, by then, I'm hoping to be happily married. And I also want to be getting closer and closer to being financially free. I also want to be working on a few startups by then, even maybe have some established. And I would also like to get into real estate and have a rental property by then. Those are just some super quick visions I have to where I would like to be when I'm 26 years old and five years question number two what motivates you to continue pursuing your dream honestly what keeps me motivated is just the future goals i've set for myself and for my family being fully transparent with you a lot of what i'm doing now yeah i'm passionate about it but i'm also doing it to try to set up my future family in a really good spot so whenever i feel unmotivated i just constantly go back to who i'm doing it for and my why behind it all which is one i'm passionate about it two i want to set up my future family and three i want to entertain and inspire people so when you feel unmotivated go back to the why you started in the first place and that usually helps me question number three you ever dream about being in the nba yes the nba NBA was my dream at one point in my life. However, now as I've gotten older, my dreams have changed. It's not currently my dream anymore. Part of that is because I'm 5'9". Another part of that is just because my passions have changed a little bit. Question number four, who inspired you to play basketball? So yeah, this wasn't really a person. Like I always enjoyed watching Steph Curry growing up, but really the thing that made me decide I wanted to dedicate a large portion of my life to the game of basketball was a camp I went to when I was younger. It's called the Hard Work Camp. It used to be in Ohio. Now it's in Indiana. But ever since attending that camp, I just fell in love with the game of basketball and knew I wanted to do it for a long time. That camp also taught me the importance of hard work and discipline. I think it's through that camp where I developed the work ethic and the discipline I have in my life. And it's helped me in so many other areas other than on the court. Next question, workout routine. So my workout routine actually kind of varies depending on like if it's summer, you know, preseason, postseason. But really it just comes down, I get in the weight room at least three times a week, if not more. And I try to get in the gym at least six times a week, if not more, unless there's, you know, gym construction and I can't get in the gym anywhere. But I try to get in the gym at least six times a week. In those six times, three days are dedicated to shooting specifically, and the other three are dedicated to skill workouts and game simulation. In the weight room where I'm a PG, I just work a lot on balance, core strength, and upper body strength. And my lower body exercises comes with a lot of that balance work I do. Who is the best basketball player you've ever played against? I've had an opportunity to play against a lot of good players, so it's really hard for me to narrow down the one. So I'm just gonna tell you guys like the most known player that I've played against probably. His name is Michi Johnson. He used to play at Ohio State. I believe he's transferring now, but I played against him in AAU and that was super cool. Also, if you haven't watched my video against Brandon Mothmer, go do it because he's really good as well. He kind of embarrassed me the first half of that video. So go check it out if you haven't already. I'll put it up here somewhere. So I got like three questions around destroying and my time working with him. So I'm just gonna put all of those into like one answer here. One person asked if me and D were still tight. Another person asked how I actually got the job with D. And the third person asked how I ended up meeting up with him in person. So if you don't know, I worked for Destroying as his video editor. I started when he was at like 1.1 mil and I actually stopped working with him when we reached about three and a half million. But it was a super cool experience. I actually had a chance last summer to go work with him in person in Arizona for a whole month. That was super cool. And by the end of it, he wanted me to come work with him in person full time. I ultimately ended up saying that I could not move to Arizona and do that full time. I told him I'd be more than happy to edit for him remotely still, but he really needed someone that would be there to film and edit for him. So it just ended up being a business move that he had to make and I totally understand that. And vice versa, I knew I didn't want to work for a creator all my life. I knew eventually I wanted to make a name for myself and a brand of my own. And I knew that would be really hard to do if I was just working behind the scenes with him 24 seven. So long story short, I ended up taking a back seat. Now I actually edit his second channel videos, less time commitment and I still get a focus on my own brand and my own channel, as well as working with him too. So we're still cool. We don't talk every day like we used to. We had and still have a good relationship. Next question comes from my new teammate, Nick. He says, why are you so sexy? What can I say, bro? It just, just happened. Next question, a good one. Would you ever make a podcast about sports and lifestyle? Fun fact, I'm actually working on brainstorming and branding some ideas for that as we speak. I really wanna make a podcast to where I get people on that have conquered the odds, defied odds, whether it be in business, you know, personal health, athletics, really anything where they defied the odds. I really wanna have people like that on my podcast and just bring positivity to the world and inspire young people chasing dreams. So I am working on something like that. I don't wanna rush and release it until it's ready and it'll be good because I wanna put 
but something that's gonna be quality work out there. So just stay patient with me, but I am working on something like that and I'm super pumped about it. What sparked your love for filming? Honestly, I can't remember a specific moment that like sparked my love for it. All I know is ever since I was a kid, I loved watching YouTube videos. I really liked watching NBA 2K videos. And then eventually I was like, man, I love it so much. I wanna do it. So I just started, I made 2K videos, super cringe, but eventually that just led to me wanting to learn more about filming and start taking it really seriously. I love this question. If you had the chance to tell the world one thing, what would it be? If I had to tell the world one thing, I think it would be this. Dive into your uniqueness and never let anyone set a limit on you. We're all given different talents and different purpose in life. And I truly believe that they were given to us for a reason. So my advice to the people living in such a judgmental world right now, just dive into that uniqueness because it's in you for a reason. And never let anyone set a limit on you. There's only one person that can set a limit on you and that's you. So don't allow yourself to sell yourself short and don't let others set the limit of how high you can go. Man, motivational speaker over here. Okay, Caleb, I see you, boy. Favorite person to play with in high school. This is tough because I genuinely enjoyed playing with everybody on my team in high school. My junior year was a lot of fun because we made a huge run at it. But honestly, I really enjoyed my senior year teammate. We had so much fun. We took a lot of trips in the summer and there was no tension between anybody. It was literally just a fun time and we had a successful year. So it made it even better. Emily asked, what is your way to decompress? Something I've been doing to decompress lately is taking electronic free walks. I'm telling y'all, it sounds so stupid, but it's game changing. As well as the walks, reading. Ever since I started taking these walks without my phone and then reading right after, it's made a huge difference. Like I just love it. Now it's gotten to the point, there's even times in the evening where I'm like, man, I wanna take another walk and read more because it's just fun to me. And it truly helps me relax and decompress and forget about everything else going on. So yeah, those are the two things I do that's been helping me a lot lately. How have you been able to balance your YouTube content with God? Yeah, so great question. I'm a man of faith and God's a priority in my life. Something I've been doing to balance everything I'm doing right now because not only am I doing YouTube and trying to keep my relationship with God tight, I'm also running businesses, trying to stay in shape. You know, I'm doing a lot of things, but something I've been doing is dedicating the first hour of my day to God specifically. So on my morning walk, I'm talking to God. I'm thanking him for all the blessings he's placed in my life. He's shown a lot of gratitude. And then when I get home, I read my devotional and really start my first hour of my day intentionally focusing on that relationships helped me a ton and it keeps everything balanced. What equipment do you use? So the camera I use is a Sony a7 III. And then the other big piece of equipment I use that you guys probably benefit from or see is my Rode Video Mic Go. It's my clip-on mic. It does a pretty good job considering it's not built to play basketball in. I use a Sony 2470 lens as well as a Sony 70 to 200 lens. I have a lot of lights too. I use ring lights as well as just plate lights. I have a drone, which I'm wanting to use more in videos here. So you might see some of that soon. And yeah, that's really the big equipment I have right now. So I'll just keep it at that. All right, last question here. What's your plans after college basketball? I'm glad someone asked me this question because it's literally something I've been thinking about a lot lately. So I'm really good for friends with this guy that does consulting for businesses and he's all about personal branding. And I had a talk with him the other day and I was like, man, I want to start planning now because I don't want to be done with basketball and not have a brand to come back on. So I was talking to him, what are some other avenues I can start taking that when I'm done playing basketball, I still have. Obviously, I'm hoping this channel blows up and I'm hoping to continue making basketball videos for as long as I can. But I also want to have other things to fall back on. So that's why we're working on the podcast. That's why we're working on a clothing line. And this clothing line is not just going to be something I throw my name on and try to sell as merch. Merch, it's going to be a true brand with a true purpose and a true message. And I'm even working on other businesses. So I'm really trying to plan for when that time comes, but also don't expect the basketball videos to stop when my college career is over because I still plan on making content, reacting to high school games like I've been doing, playing 1v1s. So there's still a lot of cool things planned in the basketball world too. So I'm really excited about the future on the channel, guys. Just saying. Now that's going to do it for all the questions. I do just want to say quick thank you guys so much. The support has been insane. We hit a thousand subscribers. We're almost at 1100 already. I forgot how much I just loved making content. So it's been truly a blessing for me to be able to produce content that you guys are liking. So thank you guys so much for the support. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like this video. It helps the video out a ton. And like I said, your boy's currently enjoying vacation. So see you next week.